Oha sen de. Wow, look at that. We're jumping to 31 now. to unmute everyone, more people coming in. All right, so um, we are we are ready to begin the service. I'm going to put the spotlight. Um, a warning, I am recording this service. So um, just, you know, be decent. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Um, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, this is a super special service for me uh, because, as you know, uh, I uh, have just completed my last chemo and uh, it's sort of like dragged on today, but um, uh, I made it on time. So I got home at like 7 05. Well, yeah. um, okay, I'm going to mute everyone. I'm sorry for that. Uh, although sometimes I wish I have this button uh, in the sanctuary. Yeah. No, no, don't touch it. I do see so not, not yet. Imagine, imagine if I had uh, um, uh, if I had the uh, uh, mute button in the sanctuary. That would be really something. Okay, but if I invite you to speak, uh, please do unmute yourself. So we begin our service with Shalom Aleichem on page 142. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hamlachim, Malachi Hakadosh Baruch to light Shabbat candles. Now, please put in the chat if you need uh, a link to the uh, service, to the virtual service, uh, I can put a link for that or I can share the screen. So please put in the chat your request for either sharing the link um, or uh, sharing the screen. So I'm doing it with Satin. And um, the link that I will share with you has the same matching pages. So I think it'll be easier for you to find this, uh, the prayers in that uh, virtual folder. So I am going to just share the link first with everybody. And again, just check your chat box. Okay, here we go. 
So in your chat box, everyone now has the link to the virtual cert. Uh, and uh, to leave it, you just need to click on the arrows to left to go from right to left, right? So should be relatively easy. Okay. So Hadlakata Nero, the lighting of Shabbat candles, you may find on page 120. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kedeshanu b'mitzvotav v'tzivanu lehat l'kner shel Shabbat. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kedeshanu b'mitzvotav, and we continue on page 124. May the door of this virtual space, synagogue, be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May the door of this synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pitiness and pride, envy and enmity. May its threshold be no, no stumbling block to young or straying feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. May the synagogue be for all who enter the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. And we continue with Lechadadi on page 138. Let me just check with the virtual where you can find Lechadadi to help you out. Uh, with a, again, the link that I attached in the chat box. takes a little longer to leave the virtual pages versus uh, the regular prayer book, of course. So give me a sec. One second. Um, should be, yeah, so the pages really should correspond to the regular Mishkan. Um, yes, so the Chadodin, your virtual, it's 138 or 20, all right? So if we all get there, it'll be easier to leave uh, beginning from now. Okay.
לקראת שבת הלכו ונלכה, כי הם מקור הברכה, מראש מקדם נסוכה, סופה עשה במחשבה תפילה לרע 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 לרדי, נקרא לקראת קלה, נפני שבת נקרא ולא, לך לך דודי לקרא לקראת קרה, ונפני שבת נקבלה. יתעוררי, יתעוררי, כי בורך קומי אורי, אורי אורי שיר דברי, כבוד אדוני אלוהיך נגלה לרע לרע לך דודי, נקרא לקראת קלה, ונפני שבת נקבלה. לך לך דודי לקרוא לקראת קלה, פנת פני שבת נקבלה. And we rise to welcome Shabbat. בואי ושלום, עטרת פעלה, כי בשמחה ובצורלה, תוך אמוני יום סגולה, בואי חרה, בואי חרה, לא לא לך דודי, נקרא לקראת קלה, פנת פני שבת נקבלה. לך לך דודי לקרוא לקראת קלה, פני פני שבת מקבלה. And we continue with Ahavat Olam on the uh, next page, or rather two pages from this one. Amen. 
have been standing, you may be seated. just posted one more time the link to the virtual Mishkan and the pages in this particular one correspond if you click on um, uh, Friday night Friday evening, night evening. Uh, for, for the um, uh, Mishkan Fila Friday night uh, evening one, uh, then you should be able to uh, see it. Can everyone see me and hear me? Because one person texted that um, you can't see me. Fair and frozen. You okay? You okay? I'm okay. Yes, thumbs up. Okay, good. Nice. So we continue then uh, in our prayer book with page number 157. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot. That wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness. That there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. And let me share the screen because I want to show you the example of marching together in Jerusalem to the Western Wall, representatives from um, reform and conservative movement holding the Torah. Um, and the picture is in the article about a tremendous win for the progressive Judaism. So. Hang on tight, I will share the screen. As you can see, marching together, one small step for the court, one large step for converts. The ultra-Orthodox monopoly in Israel regularly 
generates injustice in the lives of Israeli citizens. One example among many is the harm it causes to the freedom of religion and the freedom of choice of Israelis who cannot marry in Israel or are forced to marry in a way that does not reflect their beliefs or their lifestyle. Attempt by ultra-Orthodox leaders to extend this monopoly to con conversion affects a smaller number of Israelis, but brings this injustice to an absurd height. The sages already said that there is no joy like the resolution of doubts, and thus the high court's decree this week granted justice to converts and added one more chink in the monopoly's armor. I'm not going to uh, read the entire article, uh, but uh, you get the the sense of uh, a, a tremendous uh, breakthrough. And um, uh, I'm just uh, absolutely uh, excited for all those people who were converted by reform or conservative rabbis who were, who were very serious about uh, that step and prepared very, very hard. As a matter of fact, uh, we have on call one of my uh, newest uh, students for the conversion. And I'm so excited for him that um, um, that he will be recognized in Israel as an uh, equal Jew when he's completed his studies, um, just like with everybody else. So um, this is great. We we'll continue with Micha Mocha, page 158. God that we lie down in peace and raise us up our guardian to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Guide us with your good counsel. For your name's sake be our help. Shield and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. 
For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are gracious and merciful. Guard our going and coming to life and to peace evermore. Baruch ata Adonai, hapores sukat shalom aleinu ve'al kol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim. Blessed are you, Adonai, guardian of Israel, whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. And we continue with Vishamru. for the Tatila on page 164. Our God and God of our fathers and mothers, on this a day, um, be mindful, be mindful of, uh, of us and all of your people, Israel, for good, for love, for compassion, life and peace. Remember us for well-being. Amen. And visit us with blessing. Amen. Help us to a fuller life. Amen. 
And of course, our prayer for gratitude, we always uh, have to include in the prayer because so much to be grateful for in this life. And uh, I'm very grateful that I was able to, able to get through this um, uh, second step on my uh, way to recovery. And um, um, while there's still ways to go, but um, uh, definitely grateful to God for delivering me uh, through this um, uh, therapy, chemotherapy. We acknowledge with thanks to you, our Adonai, our God, and the God of our ancestors forever. You are the rock of our lives and the shield of our salvation in every generation. Let us thank you and praise you for our lives, which are in your hand, for our souls, which are in your care, for your miracles that we experience every day, and for your wondrous deeds and favors at every time of day, evening, morning, and noon. O good one, whose mercies never end, compassionate one, whose kindness never fails, we forever put our hope in you. Baruch ata Adonai, atov shemcha, ulechana e yehodot. We continue with Shalom Rav, page 178. moment of silent meditation and personal prayer while um, Paul is placed on the Paul, I think you need to move the uh, mic a little closer. Shalom, page 
shalom bimrama u yase shalom aleinu ve al kol israel ve al kol yoshvei tevel veimru amen o se shalom bimrama u yase shalom aleinu ve And now we continue with uh, uh, my Mishaberach prayer. Uh, we had a couple names that we actually removed this um, week, uh, luckily, but we also have a few more names, unfortunately. Some people have COVID, some people have surgeries. Um, the good news is that the majority of people that we have on the list are actually not our congregants. So it's your friends, your loved ones. I mean, it's still, of course, um, very sad, but uh, in our community, we, uh, particularly in Temple Shalom, we um, don't have as many, so stay healthy. Um, I also want to um, report to you that uh, I'm really excited uh, to the fact that our caring committee has been uh, rejuvenated and been making a lot of phone calls. So maybe some of you who are uh, here today, uh, the service, some of you are part of the caring committee. So I wanna thank you in front of everyone. And some of you were the recipients of their phone calls. So um, it's really wonderful. We have very, very kind and caring people. And again, um, I personally was the recipient of uh, all the goodness of uh, our Temple Shalom. And so I can vouch for this synagogue as a unique, warm, uh, inclusive community. It's not just the words, it's who truly we are here at, uh, in Sukasana, New Jersey, the town that uh, pretty much no one can pronounce whenever I give you know, <laughs> my information for certain, for conventions or for, um, for other uh, rabbinic uh, uh, activities and, and people like, Suka what? <laughs> Suka what? <laughs> so I have to spell it. Uh, by now I can even spell it uh, almost with my closed eyes. And if you wake me up. Anyway, so we turn to page 371. And if you think that the name of a friend or a loved one, family member is not on the list that I will read in a few moments, then please send me the names of people you want to pray for in the chat. Misha Berach Avoteinu Veimoteinu Avraham Yitzchak Veyaakov Sarah Rivka Rachel Veleya Hu Yivarechet HaCholim HaKadosh Baruch Hu Himalei Rachamim Alehem Yilchlimam Ulefuatam Ulechzikam Veyishlach Lehem Mehera Refua Refua Shlima Mine Shamaim Refuat HaNefesh Refuat HaGuf Hashte Bagala Ovizman Kariv Venomar Amen May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal those who are ill. And I'm opening our list. We pray for Yuri Varovsky, Mayor Eliyahu Ben Mordechai, Hannah Kornblum, Jilla Bobley, Eric Schwartzman, Mark Lipovich, Kayla Sagelstein, Karen Shapira, Yitzhak, Mordechai, oh, one second, let me just admit someone. Sorry. 
Um, Yitzhak Mordechai Ben Leib Vabela, Alp Talis, Jeffrey Shield, Carmen Cervantes, Larry Riga, Miriam Bat Abraham Vadivora, Sharon Seligson, Sara Bat Hanna, David Becker, Sara Leah Bat Eta, Stanley Rubenstein, Diana Landau, Michael Vogel, Sarita Felder, David Horvitz, Gabby Bobrick, Steve Fleischsing, Jeff Lampert, Herb Dubin, Zaman Ben Clara, Nathan Goldsmith, Lori Kortmansky, Marion Fleischner, Gina Connor, Jerry Friedman, Susan Lee, Joyce, Joyce Chaburi, Shirley Duffy, Bella Shepsman, Cedric Hill, Yosef Ben Menashe Vedivora, Shannon Batmoshe, Phyllis Feather, Leonard Feather, Shmuel Velvel, Ian Astor, Dorothy Fast, Miriam Bat Ella, Sally Glick, Elizabeth Brezhnik, Yusef Atsevia Bat Mary Hirsch, Jake Colson, Haim Shmuel Ben Danit Tova Ben Adar, Wendy Brenner, Stephen Brandage, Gadol Arie Ben Yitzhak Al Azar Vemasha, Peter Samuel Jensen, Erica Lifflein, Sharon Blackman, Algenon Hill, Yisraela Bat Shimon Avram Ben Yohavit Bela, Frida Greenman, Maribel Leigh Gilbrat, Barbara Hawthorne, Evelyn Weiss, Eva Hanna Butlabel, Artie Butler, Seraphine Lamb, Bruce Harrison, Jason Apter, and Ralph Cutler. Let me see if uh, I have any names from you. Um, Lainey Shipper. Let me check my text. And so far, that's all I have from you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the famous dreaded door bark. bark. <laughs> Sasha heard someone. Sorry about that. Um, may the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived, may God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and spirit. And together, let us say, Amen. something on my blog um, two week, two, two, sorry, two days ago. And um, I got a really amazing response to this blog. It also coincided, um, I brought up the, uh, um, one of the themes of this week's Torah portion. So I thought it would be appropriate, even if you did read already that this particular entry, I thought it would be appropriate to read uh, tonight for you and um, share this uh, um, inner feelings that I had that uh, I've been uh, more and more um, bold, I guess, uh, sharing various details. But uh, uh, I must tell you that uh, one of uh, uh, my neighbors who lives uh, just a couple blocks down, uh, who is going through the same thing, she's just uh, maybe uh, two, three months ahead of me. Um, she texted me today that she really appreciated this post because she was not 
Um, she didn't feel comfortable uh, speaking about this in her blog, uh, but she thought that what I wrote was very appropriate and um, um, it really um, sort of uh, also reflected her feelings. So I think that it's not just true for me, what I will read to you, but uh, true to every woman who is going through uh, what I do. So during uh, today, uh, that's when I posted during uh, the Wednesday's uh, Torah study, we discussed the verse from this week's portion by Akhel Pekudei, chapter 38, verse eight. And he made the washstand of copper and its base of copper from the mirrors of the women who had set up the legions who congregated at the entrance of the tent of meeting. Actually, let me share the screen so that it's easier for you also to follow. From this verse, we learn that some Israelite women donated their mirrors to adorn Mishkan tabernacles. All Israelites were asked to bring what they could to adorn the tent, poles, altar, ark, etc. Be it jewelry or beautiful fabric or valuable metal. Clearly, this particular donation was valuable for the women, yet they willingly parted with it in order to contribute to the beautification of the interior of tabernacles. This particular message made me reevaluate my relationship with the mirror. If someone would ask me before my diagnosis to willingly part with the mirrors in the house, I think that the person is a complete mishuga. If you were to ask me now, I would be happy to get rid of all of them. I think you can guess why. It is extremely painful to look at yourself before all the necessary steps are taken to look like yourself. At times I would tear up, even if I keep saying to myself that it is temporary and that my eyebrows, eyelashes, and my hair will grow back, that my face will not be as puffy once I stop taking steroids, that my eyelids will not be swollen. Many of you keep saying to me the same, and I truly appreciate your words of encouragement. Yet the reality is right now, I don't recognize the person who stares back at me from the mirror. I also feel that it would have been easier to deal with the physical pain if I didn't look like an alien. <laughs> it is also hard to be surrounded by the family photos and portraits as a constant reminder what I used to look like. As a matter of fact, um, I got this gift from Tony for my birthday, which was December 6th. I started chemo on December 4th. The, the birthday gift came in uh, just after I shaved my head. And uh, <laughs> the gift was the almost the uh, um, uh, actual size of my portrait, my, my actual size, a portrait, black and white portrait from seven years ago um, with the hair and everything. So I just asked Tony to hide it until I uh, look more like myself and uh, to hang it then. But um, it, was, um, it was also very upsetting to see that uh, portrait. But this is also a good lesson to me that the physical appearance can be deceitful and that the mirror image is deceitful too because I know what I am inside. I'm the same inner, generally optimistic, even if I do allow myself a little self-pity once in a while. Also, I know that our image changes the second we become animated and smile. When I cry, it is even less becoming. But when I smile, as you know, my hairless face look much nicer, looks much nicer. And of course, it goes without saying that my family, Tony and the girls who see me with or without wig, with or without makeup, always tell me how beautiful I am. To them, I'm the same still. I just have to be patient and sooner or later, I will like the reflection in the mirror, not only because it will look more familiar, but because the new image will also reflect the experience I have gained through this ordeal. And as you can see, picture of mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> I figured I'd pause that. Um, so I'll stop sharing the screen. We uh, continue with Alenu on page 586. 
Alinu li shabe akhladon hator, Laked gudular yotzer breishit, Shelo asam gibri aratot, Velo asamanu ke mishpechod hadama, Shelo asam khilkeinu kahem, Vegohor alinu ke khol hamonam, Va anachnu korim, Umishtachavim umodim, לפני מלך מלכי המלכים, הקדוש ברוך הוא, ונאמר, והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ, ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, יהיה אדוני אחד, ושמו, 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 You may be seated. And again today I want to read uh, this prayer that I read last service about the victims of COVID. We just uh, um, marked the year of the lockdown. I almost said celebrated, <laughs> nothing much to celebrate, but we marked the uh, uh, year of lockdown. And uh, I remember like yesterday, as a matter of fact, we had a wedding, I think the, uh, um, I think Linda and uh, Marshall are on the call um, because um, that day I did, I performed the wedding just right before the lockdown. We managed and uh, um, it was uh, outdoor in their, on their deck, uh, but it was very beautiful ceremony, very few people, majority uh, were watching on Zoom which became a normality. But back then it was just absolutely crazy that uh, that was uh, the, the kind of wedding that uh, this couple had to have, but they are very happy. They were very happy with the ceremony. And um, uh, like I said, you know, I mean, after that there were numerous weddings and uh, funerals and, and bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs and all other life cycle events, the baby namings that, um, uh, took place virtually, sometimes fully virtually. Uh, so people found the way to connect, which is amazing. But yet, of course, we are so saddened that so many of our friends and loved ones um, have been taken ill or um, uh, even uh, passed away from this deadly virus. So here's the poem. God of consolation, surely you count in heaven, just as we count here on earth. In shock and in sorrow, the souls sent back to you one by one, the dead from the COVID pandemic, as the ones become tens, the tens become hundreds, the hundreds become thousands, the thousands become ten thousands, and then hundred thousands, each soul a heartbreak, each soul a life denied, God of wisdom, surely in the halls of divine justice, you are assembling the courts, calling witness to testify, to proclaim the compassion of some and the callousness of others as we struggle to cope. The souls taken too soon, whose funerals were lonely, who didn't need to die, who died alone, will tell their stories when you judge our triumphs and our failures in these hours of need. God of healing, an end to this pandemic and all illness and disease. Bless those who stand in service to humanity. Bless those who grieve. Bless the dead, so their souls are bound up in the bond of life eternal. And grant, grant those still afflicted with disease or trauma a completed and lasting healing one by one until suffering ceases and we can stop counting the dead in heaven and on earth. If you would like to include the name of your loved one for a Kaddish, please uh, send it via chat or the text message while I'll read the list from Temple Shalom.
this Shabbat we remember the York sites of Bess Wise, Michael Lewin, Rita Cohen, Charles Edward Green, Joseph Master, Marvin Lax, Jacob Cohen, Aaron Yarnis, Beverly Zucker, Helen Klein, Jay Bialy, Joseph Levy, Jerome Fast, Lou Koval, Sophie Safferstein, Seymour Weiss, Iris Hellman, Jennifer Ivy Ames, Norman Barron, Lester Lewis, David Victor Morrison, and Jewish Fallen Soldiers Second Lieutenant, Lieutenant Albert Leventhal. We also remember those who left this earth uh, during the year, Edith Katchen, Leonard Weinstein, Rose Regenstein, Phyllis Potashny, Louis White, Stan Samuelson, Louis Sorrell, Nanit Lidansky, Martin Kranzbaum, Amani Kildea, Barbara Dubin, Marilyn Davidson, Samuel Friedman, Joan Barron, Phyllis Vogel, Joe Angerleiter, Eva Solich, Barry Lakin, Rose Shapira, Fred Furtick, Bernard Horwitz, Sandy Lehman, Sharon Koenig, Dr. Michael Raskin, Anne Gantarsky, Morton Prefer, Irv Budnick, Bruce Seidman. From period of Shloshim. So let me check the chat. Sheldon Rosenstein, Fanny Hamilton, Paul Mendel, Mike Danziger. Yeah. Okay. And let me check. <clears throat> um, Uh, we continue with the uh, Kaddish, page 598. Please rise. <laughs> It barach, with tabach, with paar, with romam, with nase, with hadar, with ale, with halal, shmeid kutsha, brihu, le ela, min kol, birchata, vishirata, tush bechata, venechamata, damiran, be alma, vimru, amen. Ye shlama rabbin min shemaya, the chaim, aleinu, vel kol Israel, vimru, amen. O say shalom bim romav. Uya se shalom aleinu ve al kol Yisrael veimru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel, to which we will say amen. You may be seated. Uh, Eric, do we have any announcements? Um, I have no particular announcements, but um, I know you're going to get to the Shechianu. Uh, before that, I, I actually do want to announce, uh, you may have seen it in a uh, the happenings, but uh, I'm going to be advertising it and Eric will be promoting and the, the temple will be promoting, of course, because it's huge. Uh, many of you who are on this uh, service uh, traveled with uh, Rabbi Safin to former Soviet Union. And so for you, this uh, uh, will be particularly uh, topic close to heart. Some of you I know also marched in Washington to free the Soviet Jews. So for, for those of you too, that will be amazing. Uh, we are having panel with uh, Nathan Sharansky uh, and he is a co-author of the book um, that they wrote together. Um, let me just get, oh, here we go. I'm gonna get some details for you from, um, so the book is called Never Alone. Now the event is sponsored by generous donations um, of the Baron Fund to Lifelong Learning. So I also want to thank Karen Shapira uh, for helping uh, and uh, organizing that. Um, again, uh, the event will take place on April 25th, it's Sunday uh, from one to two. Uh, I'm tying it to the celebration of Israel Independence Day, Yom um, There's no fee for the event, but we strongly encourage you to purchase the books that the temple had obtained. Uh, while you can, I'm sure, find it in other websites, but uh, we would uh, be happy if you uh, purchase, purchase it through temple and read before 
um, before this panel, before this dialogue with two remarkable uh, people with um, um, uh, with Nathan Sheransky and his co-author Gil Troy. So yeah, I'm personally very excited about that. Uh, you know, needless to say, uh, it is very special because uh, uh, I will be able to exchange a few words in Russian with Mr. Sharansky. I uh, think I've met him in person once when he gave a talk, but not too close. So uh, this will be truly a great, great event put on the calendars. Um, I think Alisa said that she has some announcements. I don't mute myself. So I, I, I want to, for all of us, to say Shachachianu for Rabbi, who we are blessed and honored that she's come through this part of her journey with great health and optimism and how grateful we are for you in our community and that it is an opportunity for us to be together as a community as we say the Shachachianu. So I will lead us. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu v'kiyamanu v'higianu l'azman hazeh Amen And I'm honored to work with you, to collaborate, and I truly am so grateful that you are on this side of your journey and uh, as we move forward together so well and it's a new moon so it's new beginnings this is a wonderful timing sure and you're you're correct uh, together because uh, uh more so than anybody else you and jen uh, see me um during our meetings sometimes very much down <laughs> and complaining half of the meeting <laughs> and then some days as if nothing is happening right so uh, but i appreciate that you Patiently, uh, <laughs> of course, listen to, <laughs> to my complaints. So that that that's really you've been also um, great and uh, very very helpful. Amazing team. We have amazing team also, uh, professional team at Temple. All right, so we are going to Rabbi. Can I add to that, please? Yes. Oh, you know what? Why don't if anyone wants to say something, go ahead and unmute yourselves. Well, I definitely want to say something. And so first of all, Alyssa, those are beautiful words. And thank you for uh, reminding me that it is a new moon because I was looking for it this evening and I couldn't find it. Um, so very apropos, it is a new moon. Rabbi, we, I, Hillary and I, everybody on this Zoom event, anybody who knows you, um, we love your strength. I admire your strength, your tenacity your conviction, uh, you know, I laud your, your whole disposition. It's quite commendable and it's inspiring, seriously, for me, for everybody. You are a real leader and a role model. And I really appreciate you as a friend, as a rabbi, as a community leader, you're spectacular. As I said, um, offline to um, a friend, you're just rocking it. And I put that in the chat thread. Hopefully this is recorded and I just see it is. It's recording. Yeah. So, um, you'll have this in perpetuity, but you're spectacular. Keep rocking it, keep going. We have your back and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Th thank you, Eric. You certainly yeah. were uh, also as a president, extremely supportive and uh, yeah. uh, also appreciate that. Thank you. I'd like to say something. Go ahead. I know I'm not actually like a part of uh, the temple here, but uh, Rabbi has been uh, really supportive of me and she's going through the process of helping me to convert. Um, and so even though we've got 3000 miles between us, um, <laughs> we have been, you know- and in LA, so, you know, that's another, beauty of uh, this uh, COVID uh, uh, era that uh, we, you know, we would have been maybe reluctant in the past, but now uh, Ant and I are having our regular meetings. Yes. <laughs> so it's been really nice to go through that with someone, uh, Rabbi Ina married 
uh, my wife and I. Hello. Rachel. Hi. <laughs> um, and just, you know, learning about uh, the customs and everything. And uh, just, you know, I admire your strength of being able to do it. I know we both have had some really rough weeks, uh, but I really am grateful for you and your support and your kindness, uh, not just now, but throughout, you know, the entire process of, you know, when Rachel and I were getting married and the meetings we had with you. So um, oh, you're, you. you're just an amazing person and uh, I cannot, I, I speak volumes about, you know, your strength. You are just a, a rock and I see the community here just also adores you. And I, I think that's wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to uh, to go get to the finishing line. So we have another Jew among us. <laughs> All right, so um, if you want, again, you can put things in the chat box, but I'm going to continue with Kiddush. Thank you, Tony, for joining. Um, I'm trying to get there. Um, do you know how to put it down to the spotlight? I think add spotlight. Where is it? Oh, okay, got it. <clears throat> <laughs> ושפעת קודשו באהבה וברצון הנחי לנו זיכרון למעשה ראשית כי הוא יום תחילה למקראי קודש זכר לציות מצרים כיוונו בחרת ואותנו קידשת מכל העמים בשבת כושך באהבה ורצון כנחלתנו ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת אמן. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם המוציא לכם מן הארץ ותאהבון. תודה. ואנחנו נתחיל עם אדון עולם, רדר, אחד עם אדון עולם, פלס את הוורס בידו, פייג' 625. Shalom. I hope I don't, didn't forget anything or anyone. It was a long day, but uh, I really appreciate the kind words. And like I said, this really helps. The texts, the emails, if people don't post on the blog, they reach out pretty much every, um, all of you, um, all the time. And uh, um, like I said, I'm just, I, I consider myself a very lucky person with 
everything that's going on, I still consider myself a super lucky person. And especially this guy here. Who, who sees who sees the uh, behind the behind the curtain? Oh, all the... <laughs> so I see behind the curtain. <laughs> the backstage, so called. So um, very lucky. And uh, again, Shabbat Shalom to everyone. I'll add spotlight to Paul so he can uh, give us a little more of his beautiful piano playing. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs>